Here an overview of the improvements in the animation department. For example, I now can clean entire channels if nothing has changed. And to show you this, let me create an animation here by simply moving this cube around a bit and then stop again. And if you look at this closely, you see that there are some channels where nothing has changed. And that's basically all those that are either rotation or scale. And a lot of keyframes have been inserted and even just having those um, channels there, it's just clutter and it's unnecessary. And we can simply clean those now by selecting everything, then hitting X and clean channels. Now you see all those channels where nothing has changed have been removed. And that's also useful, for example, if you're doing animation and animation with a rig. And for every pose you change your bones and hit I on all the bones. And then there might be some bones you didn't need at all during your entire animation. And now you can simply clean those channels with one click. Pretty cool. Now let me add modifiers to some of those channels, like maybe a sine wave and here some noise. And now I can turn those modifiers on and off by simply clicking here on this icon. And I, uh, this also works globally, so if I go here, I can turn on and off all modifier for this channel at once. Now, next thing I'd like to show you is the Dissolve tool, which now also works for armatures and the grease pencil. Here I have a simple armature. Let's go to edit mode here. If I delete this joint with X, I now also have the option to dissolve. Pretty nice. And I told you this also works for the grease pencil. So let's make a stroke. Then go to grease pencil and enable editing. And now let me select a few points and then hit X and now I also have the option to dissolve. So this, those have been deleted because there was no adjacent point and those up here are now a straight line because I have dissolved them. So also pretty useful.